Library who are our fantastic partners and of course who host our big banner every year. Today we are having a silk painting workshop. It's part of our festival of calligraphy and fine art and as you can see we are in this gorgeous hall with the bee and of course our banner and we've got the workshop taking place and they're loving every bit of it and we love hosting them. Thank you. So today I did silk painting with the lovely ladies at Manchester Central Library. It went very well. I based my silk painting workshop on the Silk Road cities like Uzbekistan, Pakistan, Iran. So they did motives to do with them, with them countries. The ladies had never done silk painting before but they really enjoyed it and we got some very good feedback and they are going to come back next year. then you go up you end up smudging it and you'll find all the line on here <laughs> also I've seen some people they work like that and you'll get really wobbly lines so I always do I lean my hand so it doesn't shake and what you do you press and you drag it at the same time it's a bit like henna painting has anybody done henna painting yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna start with something simple maybe a flower so you need you need the thickness to be about about that much sorry a big blob came out just always make sure you do a little bit there if it's okay and then try not to leave any marks, but you're just dragging that while you're pressing it. If you leave gaps, what happens when you put your painting, it just bleeds. It's very, very um, absorbent and it just runs. That's why you have this. So the ones who are doing the marker, it can still work, but I'll show you how to paint it so you can keep within your marker. So I'll, because with children, I, I used to use this and they found it difficult. And then I found that you can use fabric marker, but you're just going to be more controlled with your painting. If you do it too thin, what will happen, it'll just run over. So like I said, you need to have it a little bit of a relief. So, because have some people, what they do is they just think it's like drawing and then, then they just kind of do that and it'll just run over. So you need a little bit of it, you know, sticking up like a bit of a relief. You can take your time, I'm just hurrying up just because it's a demo and then you can maybe do a relief. And then um, later extra details or you might want to put dots you can always do that right at the end when you've done your painting so. right let's do the quick stems and then we're Thanks yes. to the brilliant uh, teaching of uh, Aisha, um, and it was really nice, really relaxing, beautiful sunny day, beautiful people. Um, so yeah, really amazing experience. And what is mean? This is a Macfest logo you mentioned before. Yeah, so I kind of, I think I did this subconsciously. Uh, I just by accident made something very similar to the Macfest logo. So yeah. Yeah, the textile work. No, we're not. They should be explored. Can show me your painting? Oh, oh, 
Thank you.